Hi guys, I am so cold. <laughs> I'm so cold, I just put my sweatshirt on. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. I have been here at the hospital. I'm here at the hospital. Um, I'm fine. I came for lab work and the one time, I've been here for over an hour. I've been here for um, like an hour and a half. The one time, the one time I come for lab work for my a doctor's appointment next week, the one time, there's zero line. There's literally one person in front of me. She just checked in and then one one person in line. And they don't have the lab work from my, my, from my doctor. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So I ran down the hallway to my doctor's office, like, check in. And I asked them and she's like, oh, that's, that's unfortunate because they just went to lunch. And I was like, well, I have to have this. There's got to be a nurse back there. And they're like, let me just check. An hour later, an hour later, someone finally came back from lunch and they got it to go through. And I'm freezing cold. Like I went walking this morning. I'm just wearing my tank top. Just like, I'm just wearing my tank top. I was cold on my walk. I wore my jacket the entire time I was on my walk. But then I'm sweaty. So I take the sweatshirt and my jacket off to come and do this lab work thinking I'm going to be in and out of there. Nope. So then, <laughs> the back matters worse. And we're gonna quickly move on with our day because now I've wasted an hour and a half of my time. Um, I get in to do the lab work. Luckily, there's still no line. Hallelujah, that's literally never happened to me. Quite the luck on that end of it because I could have been there for another two hours waiting for the lab work. And I need to get it done because I don't think that they would get the lab work done in time for my appointment next week if I came on Monday. Today's Friday. Um, so anyway, then they can't find the vein on the, my, my one dominant vein that I have gotten blood work and blood donations from for 23 years and he can't get blood to come out of it. I honestly think in the end, I think it was the actual vial wasn't pulling the blood in. I think there was something wrong with the actual, like the little tubey thing wasn't putting the right pressure to let the blood come in they did the other arm which they've never done this arm ever no one no doctor no anyone has ever even my childbirth even during childbirth no doctor nurse anyone has ever been able to get this vein to work ever so they were like we'll try this other vein we'll see if it works if not we'll go back to the other one we'll see what we can do he got it to work. I have no idea. It's never happened. And I told him, you are a miracle worker. You're a miracle worker. It's literally never worked. All right, so the lab work is done. You guys, I am so excited for my lab work for the first time in years. It's going to rock. It, my, it's gonna blow my doctor out of the water. I'm so excited. I guarantee you it's going to be good because of how good I feel and how much work I've done. So I'm very excited to get the blood work done. Um, and um, now I have to go to Costco and I'm going alone because Jason is in fact homesick. He feels like HUD. But he knows how important this game is tonight for Ashley to perform at. It's the high school game. And so he he's just going to rest. He's just going to rest all day long so that he can go for like an hour, hour and a half to the game. Um, he's literally just going to go just in time to get Chelsea there because it's Chelsea's first high school game. Abby is going early because she is the photographer for tonight's game for the yearbook staff. I love that she's in charge and she could put herself there because she loves doing this kind of stuff. And so she got to have kind of first pick of what, um, oh, anyway, I'm trying to think, wait, what way am I going? I should have gone the other way. I should have gone the other way. Dang it, I'm not paying attention. Anyway, it's a big night. It's a big game and I'm excited to go. I just need him to feel better. So we're gonna go to Costco by myself, which is fine. I, I asked Jason, I was like, if you're not in bed asleep when I get home, can you just help me unload? But now it's been so long, he's gotta be passed out by now. So I'll have to be a big girl and then load Costco by myself. I also have to go into the milk section by myself. I usually send him in to go get the milk and I have to go in and get the milk. So let's go to Costco. It's a beautiful day. Uh, let's see. Blue skies, but it is like 66 degrees. So it's a little bit chilly out there, um, but at least it's not raining. 
we've been having as coaches we've been having to like kind of reprimand our team to make sure that they have all their gear with them for practices and for games because if like especially for games if even one girl does not have their uniform jacket they can't all wear them one person missing hers means none of them can wear them because we are all in uniform or all not um, or they don't get to perform I, I I don't know like one girl says she lost hers from last year and I'm like well you better hurry and get the coaches to order a new one for you because you're not gonna get to perform you gotta have they've got to show some responsibility so luckily it's not gonna rain tonight but it will tomorrow morning for our game to teach these girls some responsibility that jacket was really expensive so gotta find it anyway i've been dealing with that all morning just trying to like communicate with parents to like help them understand the importance of this for these teams and and whatnot so let's go to class. all right mr sicky is right there chelsea's here making a sandwich they are, everyone is home from school and i have showered i didn't wash my hair or redo it it was fine um uh i was actually gonna curl my hair and have it cute for tonight but i'm not i'm not <laughs> i'm just gonna be too occupied it's not a night to have my hair nice um but i'm laying out ashley's a uniform for her to put on here in a little bit she is taking this very seriously she's upstairs we put her hair in a high pony and I'm gonna put these, I don't wanna put them in the bathroom. Let's set them right there. Um, she is straightening her ponytail now and then curling, putting it into the little foam rollers or whatever. Um, so she'll have a curly pony. She needs socks with zero color. So there's her socks for her shoes. I'm gonna go check the mail. I have folded laundry. Try and stay up on top of this kind of stuff because my Saturday mornings are pretty occupied now. As soon as I get home from tomorrow's game, I'm probably gonna go for a walk. So. Okay, this girl is done. Don't, let <laughs> Don't mind the girl rod in the top of her bow. Soft um, right here. Not bow, like the top of her ponytail. Oh, yeah, crack oil. Um, ballerina with my receding mm -hmm. hairline. No, you don't. You look cute. Uh, it's like it's a five head. <laughs> it's a four. Nope. It's no. That's four. It's a four head. It's so big for a four. <laughs> All right. Don't eat candy right now. I was gonna sneak that in my bag, but there's no food allowed at the game. All right. So I have my sweatshirt that I need to remember. I'm gonna put that in the way. <sighs> I put it in the way back. You coach, you need to be uniformed. Well, yeah, I don't want to wear my other t-shirt. I have it in my backpack. Um, the sweatshirt will suffice. So, we are heading down there early. We're gonna get Ashley something to eat on our way. Dad is still sick on the couch. He's he just sick? gonna, yeah, he's been sick all day. Um, the unfortunate thing is, okay, here, can you go take that and put it in the fridge, please? Do not have your shoes on yet? Okay, I'll do it. Um, it, we had two hours, um, today, I mean, I, I got ready, I did some things, but, um, his tux is done <laughs> and he could have gone to pick it up, but I didn't have time to go with him. Um, and so, and he's like, I just don't feel good enough to drive myself there. He wanted me to drive him there. Um, I don't know if he has to try it on and I'm like, I don't have time for that today. So his tux is ready and it would have been fun to go get it but and I don't want to go get it without him because I think that he should try it on make sure it's fine so we have to wait and do that next week hi all right all right so Ashley just got a smoothie and some fries the burger didn't sound good to her when we got there but what are you about to do with your hair curler <laughs> we turned the heat on we need to turn up the number the, the number of heat and you're gonna put your head it's not right, right, right in front of the vent to try and dry it. Phone. 
No, you don't need my phone. Oh my gosh, you don't need to do something at the same time. So she's drying it off. Not drying it, just heating it up so she can take the curler out. You look cute. Sh turn around, let me see you. Come on, give me a little bit. Got food trucks here. I might be coming out to get something to eat later. Let's forget about a curfew. This all that is stuck in my head. It's me, you. Hold speed in my heart is racing, but I'm not sure I wanna place it. Cause it only does this with you. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension. Move me to the next dimension. Let's just let our bodies
Vi uh, Violet Vipers, Purple Squad, coached by Tammy Murray and Dana Brown. Welcome back with dedication to cheer for our football players at 11 a.m. The purple team is led by head coach Alex What the heck? You did such a good job. Ms. My hair is still on. intact. Your hair is still intact. You did an amazing job. It is nine, ten to nine. Um, there was a lot of miscommunications of when to be on the field, when not to be on the field. So they did not get to go out and get recognized as squads onto the field, except for our little cute minis. <laughs> who they waited. were like tired and like- They didn't even get they, to perform or anything. They just waited in the rain and then came out onto the field. The, and then- They should have been more prepared. When the football kids got to come out, the junior football kids, they got to come out onto the field. While our high school girls were performing, we were supposed to take these guys and walk around the field so that we could come out onto the field with the football players, the minis, or like the junior players that she cheers for. So there was a little miscommunication and then I didn't realize when they were gonna perform their little halftime dance. Also, you guys know it better than the high schoolers know it. Because they, they only learned, learned half up to of a, it. Yeah, half of it. And they learned it two days ago. And so it was cute to like, you were like, well, we want them to keep going. <laughs> so you guys, no, they didn't stop the dance. So we I know. Were like, so we like, were well, all done. And then we were like. <laughs> well, we know how to do started. the end. So like the, the high schoolers stepped back and they kept doing the halftime routine. Um, it's going to be really cute when we actually have a formation. But we're going to practice it tomorrow during their game. Um, and so. Uh, but all the girls are so tired. They all agreed. No FaceTime calls tonight. Go home, get cleaned up, go to bed. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So tired. But we had our whole family there tonight. If you saw, Abby was there filming as the editor for the yearbook staff. So I was able to like interact with her quite a bit. Um, her senior photos came in tonight. So maybe I will do a, a slideshow in another video of her pictures once she looks at them. Um, and so it was just kind of fun to have like everyone has had a little part. Chelsea was there with Jason in the stands. It was her first high school game. So she came with Jason and um, just got to like enjoy it. But they're already home. <laughs> um, so we're going to say goodnight to you guys. Super fun night. Um, but I think we're all tired. We're going to say goodnight. So take care. I think I'll let it be